Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So I was recently asked in a live stream, how much coal should a beginner buy? And I'm hoping to take an answer to that today. I'm gonna to take a little walk outside the workshop here and go around to my actual coal pile. And uh, maybe we can have a little conversation about this. So my answer to how much coal should a new beginning blacksmith buy really goes back to how much are you spending in how much time are you spending in the shop in other words so for me out here that's my coal pile it's laying on the ground excuse the rough and tumble nature of the outside yard right here it's been kind of crazy these past few weeks but if you can focus on the coal for a minute instead of all of my junk in this farming community here uh the it all goes down to exactly how much you're going to use on a daily or day-to-day -day basis. Now, most times beginners end up using more coal than what professional blacksmiths will because you have a tendency until you learn your fire and fire, proper fire control and maintenance, you just have a tendency to really roll through the coal quite a bit unnecessarily. So, now, for me... I can take about 50 pounds of coal and I can smith on 50 pounds of coal all day for an eight hour day. Now if I, that's on smallish, medium to, uh, small to medium sized projects. If it is a large project that I'm working on or if I got a lot of forge welding I have to do where I've got to convert a lot of green coal to coke in order to do that, then we're talking upwards to 100 pounds in an eight hour period of day of time of burning. So that antiquates out to how many tons? Well there's roughly 2,000 pounds in one ton of coal. So you can just do the math on that. You know how many times 100 pounds at forge welding heats, or say 50 pounds goes into 2,000 pounds. And then you divide that over your days and that's, that's gonna tell you how much smithing coal you will need for that amount of hours of work to being done. Keeping in mind, most days you do not spend a full day out in the shop like just constantly burning coal 24 hours a day here so you know we're talking it can last quite a long time uh, with between stokings and things like that you know 50 pounds like I said I can go all day and sometimes I can get that to stretch even to 10 to 12 hours depending on the atmospheric conditions and what I'm doing in the shop how much air I have to put on it and how much heat I'm trying to get out of the fire so I recommend that you take and get at least 500 pounds of coal is a good bulk load. If you're starting with a coal that you're not too sure about, you only need to take and maybe get 50 pounds of coal and test it first before you put out all the money on buying a, you know, a ton of it or a half ton or a quarter ton of that coal. So that is my suggestion for that. Uh, you know, if you're just beginning, give yourself the time to learn, know that it's gonna cost a little more you're not going to be as economical. You do need to get your steel hot, so be focusing on trying to do that efficiently and getting the work done in that way. Uh, but as far as as far as how much should you buy, as much as you like. Uh, it depends on how long you want to be in the trade for. How much space do you have? Uh, and this, I'm luckily, you know, I'm here in the country, so I can have as much space as I like. You know, with, with my coal pile. I can build it up, you know, I can have five, ten tons dropped out here uh, and uh, no one would say anything to me. So that is a very, that, that is a benefit. Guys who live in the city, you're probably dealing with a garage or, you know, or if you can even burn coal at all. Sometimes you can uh, in town. Some people find it kind of a neat thing and they, they let you get away with it. And at that point, you may only be able to do 100 pounds of coal or a couple hundred pounds of coal. So 500 would be probably what I would say is a good average to take and get in bulk quantity if you're going to take and get into smithing. Uh, if you can afford a half ton or a full ton, that's where you can start getting your best price breaks. So I hope that takes and helps answers the questions. Uh, thank you for whoever it was that asked that question in the last live stream. You know, that helped me make another video and hopefully you guys uh, appreciate that. Some of the older gentlemen on the channel, why don't you comment down in the comment section, uh, even some professional and hobby smiths or anybody really for that matter, Comment on how much coal you seem to go through a day and what type of coal you're using, if you're using coal at all. Thank you all for watching this video. God bless you, and like I always say, we'll catch you on the next one.